Currently printing R2's tyres for the feet drives. I am using my printer settings from when I did Chopper's tyre, which is on the same printer but before I clipperized it. I'm running at 8mm per second, roughly. TPU, hot and slow. However, this is painfully slow, uh, so I might be experimenting slightly to speed it up see what I can actually get away with on Clipper and TPU. Wish me luck. We're now at 200% speed, so this is now 20 millimeters per second, and so far all seems well. So I'm about to up it to 250, so 25 millimeters per second. It seems okay. Yeah, ignore the condition of the bed, of course. But it seems okay. 25 millimeters per second. So 250% speed. Shall I push my luck? Oh, by the way, that's not pulling from the bed, that's just where the curve of the tyre treads is starting to form. Let's try 300%. Right, 300%, 30 millimetres per second. This is still slow from what I normally print as. seems to be okay. I'm going to leave this running for a little while and then come back because that's when I should start to notice any issues. And I'll still have time to stop and restart back to my original settings. I think 25 seems to be okay. 30 again seems to be okay. okay. But Again, I'm not really going to know until a few layers are done. It, they seem to be joining. Doesn't appear to be any gaps in the layer height. The extrusion seems to be working okay. Focus very well if I try and do that. So it seems to be printing okay. So let's just leave it and see what it does. There we go. I just come in to do a video to see how we're getting on, um, but it's done. So originally, Clipper said it was going to finish at twenty past one in the morning. Uh, when I upped it to twenty milliseconds, uh, it knocks it down to nine o'clock at night. I went up to thirty. It took it down to quarter past seven. It is now quarter past five. So it's gone even quicker than Clipper said, and it's still warm. So I think it's literally only just finished. In fact, the filament's still gooing out. So that's great. So I can do at least 30 mil, mil, yeah, 30 millimeters a second on a Clipper-powered sidewinder using TPU. This is all experimentation because, as I said, in the previous tires that I did for Chopper. Uh, we're done pre-clipper, but I mean this seems okay. The infill, yeah, that's that seems okay. It's a bit squishy in, with the infill, but it's solid. Other than that, so that's fine because it's going to have the, the the hub inside it anyway to protect it. This is really just to, for it to drive onto. So now I've got to do this again for the next one. There we go. Two TPU tyres. Uh, yeah, alright, they're a little stringy. But the print quality is still really good. I could, could I go a bit quicker? Maybe. So, I mean, I ended up averaging out at 60 millimetres per second. And that's the average, because obviously the travel time of the tool head when it's not printing is quicker 
it slows down for doing walls, it speeds up doing in the filter. It's an average, roughly, of 60 millimeters per second. So I, to be honest, I ran at my normal printing speed for PLA. Two, well, 210, I did 215. I normally run at 210, I did 215. And I upped it to 60 milliseconds, and these came out really well. But yeah, so I'm, I'm pleased with those. So they're ready to go onto R2's drive wheels when the VEX wheels are back in stock for, for the rest of the drive wheels. But yeah, just a quick one on this.